Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 119, verses 105 to 128. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and will fulfil it to keep your righteous judgments. I am troubled above measure. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept the free will offering of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My soul is ever in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your testimonies have I claimed as my heritage for ever, for they are the very joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfil your statutes, always, even to the end. I hate those who are double-minded, but your law do I love. You are my hiding place and my shield, and my hope is in your word. Away from me, you wicked, I will keep the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your promise that I may live. Let me not be disappointed in my hope. Hold me up and I shall be saved, and my delight shall be ever in your statutes. You set at naught nothing those who depart from your statutes, for their deceiving is in vain. You consider all the wicked as dross, therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh te trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I have done what is just and right, O oh, give me not over to my oppressors. Stand surety for your servant's good, let not the proud oppress me. My, aisles, my eyes fail with watching for your salvation and for your righteous promise. O oh, deal with your servant according to your faithful love, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant, O oh, grant me understanding, that I may know your testimonies. It is time for you to act, O oh Lord, for they frustrate your law. Therefore I love your commandments, above gold, even much fine gold. Therefore I direct my steps by all your precepts, and all false ways I utterly abhor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the word of the Lord. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. A reading from Romans chapter 15, starting at verse 14. 
I myself feel confident about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to instruct one another. Nevertheless, on some points I have written to you rather boldly by way of reminder because of the grace given me by God to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in the priestly service of the gospel of God, so that the offering of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast of my work for God, for I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me to win obedience from the Gentiles by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and as far around as El Elysium, I have fully proclaimed the good news of Christ. Thus I make it my ambition to proclaim the good news, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on someone else's foundation, but as it is written, those who have never been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. Here ends the reading. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. A Song of Redemption Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. The Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him, he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. In him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile all things. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Let us pray. Almighty God, we bring before you today those stories that are making news headlines from around our world. Father, we pray for those places that are struggling with political unrest and social violence. Father, we pray that your spirit of peace would move across our world. We pray that you would raise up peacemakers. And Lord, help us to be peacemakers in our own lives, in our families, in our churches, in our workplaces. Father God, we pray locally for our social services and for all those who work in the criminal justice system. We pray for the victims and the perpetrators of crime. Lord, we pray for our emergency services, for our police, fire and ambulance, and for all those whose daily work is for the benefit and the good of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>